You can have what to say, but it does not mean men will listen. Some of the smartest people in the world are the loneliest people. I have seen people even in ministry, men and women of God, gifted with character, with solid integrity, and yet nobody knows they are there. And sometimes I say, please, can I pray with you? What God has placed upon your life, all of us should benefit from it. I have seen people sing in passing. These guys are supposed to be leading nations in worship. And they are not even aware they are worshippers. And when I heard their voices, why are they here? Some of them were cleaners. Cleaning rooms and singing. And you hear the melodies. And you are looking. This man is in this place. He does not know what is upon him. Because they lack the grace for visibility. I want to pray for you. Whatever will make men know you are there. Whatever will make men to see the investment of the spirit upon your life. And to encourage you and reward you. I pray, may the grace that makes this happen rest on you now. May that grace rest on you now. Hallelujah. Don't be tired though. I'm speaking over your life. Listen, one of the greatest blessings in my life today is the gift of men. One of the greatest blessings in this ministry today is the gift of faithful men, faithful sons, faithful daughters. When men of God come and cry their ordeal and tell me the pains and the backstabs that they receive perpetually, sometimes I return to God and I say, Lord, I thank you. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. There are men of God today who cannot sleep. They can't call anybody a son. They can't call anybody a daughter. They don't trust anybody because they have been so wounded. They are bleeding left, right and center. Every week is an episode of pain. God has given the gift of men, not just in this ministry, but the gift of strategic people. I was in Lagos this morning before I came and then came for Koinonia. And I was thinking to myself while I was on my way back, if God does not help a man by connecting you to strategic relationships, life will be hard, unbearably hard. I don't know who has struggled in this place and you are tired of struggling. Maybe you inherited this thing from the families you came from. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. May a help arise this moment. May help us rise 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 this moment. Now listen to me please. Essentially, there are two principal ways God channels his blessings to the saints. Listen please. We have a series on that coming. But I want you to listen. Number one, the works of your hands. The first way that God channels resources to come to you is through the works of your hands. Whatever it is you are doing, preaching, singing, business, your job. Number two, relationships. These are the two principal channels by which God communicates his resources to the saints. Let me repeat the works of your hands. Number two, relationships. When God wants to accelerate your becoming, he sends both. He empowers the works of your hands and then connects you with strategic relationships. There are many people who have great ideas that they should not even be crying for rent, but the relationships that will help them. Remember John chapter 5, I have no man when the waters is there to put me there. I'm praying for you one more time if you have the faith to receive. The relationship that must be introduced to your life before the end of February, in fact, before the miracle service, I pray for you this week, may you encounter those helpers. This week, may you encounter those helpers. Can I tell you, and I say this with every sense of humility, there is nothing I have cried about in my life that God did not raise a man to hear me. I pray for you. The days of crying alone, without help, without help us, those days come to an end now. In my life as a man of God, I have seen attacks. In my life as a man of God, I have seen attacks from demons, attacks from hell. I have seen demons. I know the extent of Satan's hatred for me on account of the souls that are saved. I have found my safety and my immunity in the world. There is nothing Satan can do about what God is doing. I want to pray for you because many of you, when you go through attacks, it brings you down. 
the mysteries of hiding behind the cross hiding behind the name that immunes you some of you your companies have refused to rise today because of someone something something someone said something someone did when the words of men keep you down you don't know how to be immune god stands by men like a mighty terrible one when god places his hand behind you woe betides the resistance that is before you therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus every attack on your life attack on your ministry attack on your health attack on your job this night this moment i release you to safety i release you to safety i release you to safety i release you to safety, I release you to safety.